An architect's dream. The University of Phoenix Stadium here in Glendale is the home for this afternoon's matchup between the Green Bay Packers and the Arizona Cardinals. Phil, how about the quarterback position? Here you've got on one side one of the iconic figures of the game, and another side you've got a player who would like to one day break through that and be considered one of the best. Well, Jim, when we're talking about the star quarterback, we know that he, everything is going to be built around him. He's going to have many chances today to have success. And when you're a quarterback trying to rise to that level, well, you're not going to get all those chances. The team is going to curtail what you do a little bit until you prove to them that they can put all of it on your shoulders. So play well here today. You'll get more chances down the road. It's first down as they head to the line. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Taking off. In on the stop. Nice job that time by the ball carrier. Getting it just past the first down mark. Big first down. Keep the chains moving. The offense back to the line of scrimmage after going for more than 40 yards on the previous play. First and 10, leading on that running attack again here on first down. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. Williams met at the 40-yard line. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. come out in a dime package getting sacked this defense you're playing against they're pretty good so it's fourth down near midfield hunt the football the Packers sat at the line dime package the running back goes in motion deep to Larry Fitzgerald that's a missed opportunity, and now they'll have to bring out the defense. It's fourth and long. What do you expect to always pick these situations up? That's bad game management, bad play call, bad decisions by the coach. Offense lines up here. The handoff running behind the tackle. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Packers come out in the pistol. Second and 13. Here's the running play. Off tackle. Breaks free. Has some space to work with. Well, when you try to tackle this guy, his legs are the size of a refrigerator. So hard to wrap him up. That's why he picked up the big game. Lined up in the pistol. Play action. Gets away from the pressure. Aaron Rodgers way down the field. Touchdown, Green Bay Packers. You got to take advantage of situations like this. Not often in the NFL do you get somebody this wide open. Good job by the receiver. Nice job by the quarterback seeing him. And what do you get? An easy touchdown pass. Their catch signal. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. Offense lines up here. Looking for an open receiver on the right. And he's almost intercepted. This drives coaches crazy. They get a wide receiver open down the field on a post route, and what happens? The quarterback just overthrows it. Carson Palmer will take this snap from out of the gun. Second and ten. He's looking.
looking to the right here on this throw. They come out in the dime package. Ball slipped out of his hands. Look at put them all in. With the gloves these receivers wear, the rules that you can't touch them, there's no excuse for dropping the football. And Williams is a receiver in the slot. Palmer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Intercepted. They've got him down there. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. Lined up in the pistol formation. They give it to the back, and he's running off tackle. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Wide to the left. Swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. The Packers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third and 13. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And he was wide open. What an effort and a touchdown. What a terrible job by the defense. That time, nobody even covers the receiver. He is wide open down the field. And, hey, nice job by the quarterback going through his progression. He finds the open guy and gets a touchdown pass. Mason Crosby ready for the kickoff. They'll take it at the 20. Williams going to get set in the slot for this snap. Now cutting to the right side, looking for some open space. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. Palmer's going to take it from the gun. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Well, that's a nice throw and catch by the quarterback and receiver. Puts them in good position where they have a chance to pick up this third down. Williams lined up in the slot. Third and two. Got a completion this time. The big thing about running the curl route, once you see the football, you have to keep moving and attack it. Don't stand there and wait for the football to get to you. They've got a first down now after that catch. Running away from the pressure. Under pressure and incomplete. Nice job by the quarterback. He gets quick pressure, able to get outside the pocket and keep this play alive. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Looking to the right side and throwing. Spins away from the tackle. The tackle is made, but the first down is picked up. It's always good when your quarterback is able to deceive the defense with good play action fakes. That's what did it that time. Look at the quarterback. Nice fake. Defense reacts to the run, and now you throw it over the top for the easy completion. Perfect defense call that time. They allowed the catch. The coach on the sidelines going, well, what else do you want me to do? We had the guy double covered, and you still couldn't make the play. First and 10, throws to the right. Touchdown. This game just got a whole lot more interesting. Nothing like having a quarterback who has a good arm who can, who can just fire that football into some tight spots. And then it helps you when your receiver has got the talent and the courage to go in there and make that tough kick. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Looks to his left. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. They're lining up here for the onside kick. like they've recovered the onside kick.
And Williams is lined up now as a slot receiver. First and ten. Screen play is on. Going to take it the distance. Ten in for the touchdown. What a good job by the offense driving down and getting that touchdown. Even though they're still behind, they're chipping away at this lead, keeping the pressure on their opponents. Lining up now for the two. Looking for an open receiver on the right. So, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got it in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. In the pistol. Play action. John Abraham gets credit for the sack. Well, you're on the off. Offensive side, my gosh, you know they're going to blitz. So what do you do? You either throw the football really quick or you have your tight end and running backs help pick up those blitzers so the quarterback has time to throw it. The Packers will go with the pistol on this play. Brings it into his body. In the end, it picks up only a yard. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy. He gets a completion, but it only goes for a couple of yards. The Packers line up in the pistol offense. Jordy Nelson with the grab. He's in the clear. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. Touchdown! Even on short passes, accuracy is a big, big deal. When you put it on them right in stride, look what happens. They catch it in stride. They don't slow down, of course, and good things happen. Nice touchdown run. It's good. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. Offense lines up here. Let's go, let's go. New 95. Regular, regular. First and 10. Got a little screen set up here. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Boy, if his head got yanked back the other way, an obvious face mask penalty, and that's a big one. It's about safety of the players, too. That's why when you grab, hit the helmet, in certain situations, it's going to be a 15-yard penalty. Don't grab the face mask. They're going to get him here for a sack. Well, if your offensive line is not good enough just to stop the pass rush, then you got to help them out. How do you do that? Well, you keep the tight end in, let him be an extra blocker, and you tell your running backs to help out, too, blocking some of these defensive linemen. The defense comes out in the nickel. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Of course, it's a three and out. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. Nickel formation for the defense here. Let's go, let's go. New 95. New Here we go. Who's 
Palmer's got it in the gun, challenging the defenders to the right side. Yeah, I'm sure you're really proud of yourself that time. You go for it on fourth down, you get it. I'll give you that, but I still think it was a bad decision. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to pack it up. Did not get both feet down. And you're going against a good quarterback and wide receiver in the NFL now. One of the ways to stop it is tight man-to-man -man coverage. You against him. So the coach's challenge backfires. They'll lose the timeout. And they fail to overturn the call on the field. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Play number six coming up on this drive. He'll throw it over the middle and gets the first down. Nice throw that time by the quarterback in the red zone. Gets a completion. And there's some tight spots. Not a lot of room, so you got to really drive the football in there. That reception gave them the first down. Play clock's running down. Palmer standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. Forgot to catch the football. These receivers in the NFL, they are so good now. Anytime you see a drop pass, it's almost always the one reason. They took their eyes off the football before it got there. It's now second down as they go ground here running to his right this doesn't look good we've got a player down and he's in pain i think you can just tell by the body language and the way he's acting that is an upper body injury hope it's not severe we'll let you know as soon as we find out the quarterback is coming to the line hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time third and goal from the seven throws the pass at it for a moment, but the ball is knocked out incomplete. That's why you like defenders who are good punishing tacklers. Make those receivers worry about coming over the middle. They'll be careful the rest of this game because of that big hit. This is it, fourth and goal to go. This is going to set up a change of possession. Well, that's four plays and out for the offense, and that was bad. Bad play calling, bad play, bad execution. Go to the bench and try to rethink what you're doing. Lined up in the pistol formation. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting, and they hold the running back to a short game. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has an injury update. Guys, I just spoke with a Cardinals official. He confirmed it was a neck injury. The team is taking this very seriously, so they've immobilized his neck. And guys, they'll take him to the hospital for further observation. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. Well, that's going to hurt him tomorrow. There's no doubt about it. When you get hit like that, you're going to feel some of that pain tomorrow. But the good news is... I think he's going to be okay, and once he gets a little um, uh, situated there, I think he'll be back in the game. And that's going to be a three and out. That's interesting. As you watch the receiver trying to make that catch, he knew the defender was close, so he didn't put all of his heart into it. The defender made a nice hit and knocks the football out to the ground. And gains maybe four. Punt team did a really good job getting down the field and finding that punt returner. He is able to get no yards after they catch. Zebra, zebra. 
Now on first down. To the ground here. Running to the right. Picks up six. Second down here from the gun to Williams. How did he drop that? Do one thing at a time. Catch the football, then do the next thing. Run with it. He tried to run with it too quick. That's why he dropped it. The Packers signal for a timeout. They have two remaining. Failing to connect their third down. The Cardinals now move the chains. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. Regular, regular. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. And it's incomplete. Well, they go for the bomb, but the defensive backfield was not fooled. Yeah, they were all over at that time. And they just, that was like shadow defense. Wherever the receiver was going, the defense was right next to him. Great job. The pass was going to be made, but he's beyond the first down marker. That was a nice throw by the quarterback that time to, to get just enough yards to pick up the first down. But it's incomplete. They call that the moment of truth. It's a beautiful throw down the field, but the defensive back, he waits until it's time to make that jump. He defends the pass. What a good job by the defensive back. Play number six coming up on this drive. Carson Palmer throws the long pass, but they can't connect. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive. He can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones, too. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Right on the money. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Well, they're teaching all these guys in the NFL, don't hit high, and we might be seeing more of this, lower body injuries, because of the defensive players, they're learning. Hit them lower. Won't get any flags thrown Sally. that way. Sally, 19. Here we go. This play Three, set up by the long gainer. Looking to the right side and throwing. Got a hand on it, and it's incomplete. Good job that time by the defensive player. He reads the quarterback, gets in position, down near his regular, own end zone, regular, knocks that regular, pass down. Regular. Two tight ends on the field here. Here it's a second and ten. Throws to the right. Brings it in for the score in the end zone. Well, that score ties the game up. Now on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Well, we're anxious to hear the full story on that injury. Let's go down to Danielle Bellini with the story. Guys, I just spoke with a Cardinals official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. up in the pistol on this play. Ball is out. A recovery by the defense. That brings the play to an end. Great job by the defense. Forcing and recovering the fumble. You said the appropriate word there. Forcing. And the hit was so solid and so good. The offensive player had no, he had no choice. He had to give up the football. 
you might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he's worried about the defender making the hit. Looking for an open receiver on the right. Pass is made, and it's incomplete. The hit jars the ball out. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football is arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. It's third down coming up. Looking across the middle, almost intercepted that time. Play doesn't even have time to develop. The quarterback is under so much pressure, he's throwing it before these receivers are even ready. Carson Palmer takes a look down from under center. And the catch is made by Larry Fitzgerald. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. First down here after the completion. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Second down now. Eyeing that left side. He's got the touchdown. What a tremendous throw by the quarterback that time for the touchdown. What confidence he has in that arm. Small window, very little room to throw that football in there. He didn't worry about it, fired it, got the touchdown. Challenging the defenders to the right side so they get the touchdown. But they go for two and fail to convert. I'll be the first to say it. That was a terrible decision to go for the two points. I'll give the defense some credit, but mainly the blame goes to the offensive play call. He'll have a chance to take off. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Jones in the slot. Matt Flynn is lined up in the shotgun formation. That ball is rifled to Randall Cobb, who makes the catch. Hard to play man to man against such a quality wide receiver. He's fast, he's big. You got to mix up the coverage. You play straight man to man, you're going to give up a lot of completions. In the red zone. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. So that's going to do it for the first half. Cardinals are up here in this one. We're back here now in this one, where the Cardinals are leading by seven. Let's quickly go to Danielle Bellini. She has an update. I got a chance to quickly speak with Matt Flynn during halftime. Right now, his guys are trailing, but he told me he wasn't concerned at this point. He said, we haven't played our best football, but that's okay because we can still finish strong and get this win. That's it from down here, guys. We'll just have to see how things play out. Back up to you. Danielle, thank you very much. Now we'll go to the field. The Packers come out in the pistol. And here we go, the first snap of the second half. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. The Packers lined up in the pistol. Second down and 10, setting up screen. He's brought down right around the 43-yard line. Well, there's not much to say about that play, Jim. It was a completion by the quarterback, and it picked up a couple yards. The Packers will approach this play from out of the pistol. Third and ten. The give. He's going to the left. 
That's been the story of this game. Another third down conversion to prove the change. After the long gain, let's see what they do here. Looking to the right side and throwing. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Lined up in the pistol formation. Lens back in shotgun formation. He makes the catch. Gonna take it home for the touchdown. Short passes are just as important as the long passes down the field. This time, a short, accurate pass. Look what it leads to. All those yards after the catch. Nice run, nice catch, touchdown. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. Quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid. It's intercepted! Most NFL linebackers, they're borderline good enough to be a running back, and they got the hands of defensive backs. Here's a good case. What a fine catch on the interception by the Tyler, linebacker. Tyler! 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 The Packers in the pistol. First and ten. It's handed to the running back. Escapes the hit. An off-tackle run, it's a staple of all offenses in the NFL. And a general rule is you run off the right tackle because he is the power tackle where the left tackle is the pass blocker. Setting up a little screen. They deck him in the backfield. The quarterback should have never thrown at that time. Even though he completes the pass, he should have seen the defense was right there. A loss of a couple yards. Setting up in the pistol on this play. Throws to the right. Brings it in. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. You know, as a quarterback, sometimes you got to trust that arm and throw the football past the first down marker. There were guys open, but no, he, he takes the safe route, throws it short. Defense makes the tackle. And here we are staring at a fourth down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Packers get a first down. Well, Jim, I always say it's about deception when you're playing offense. That time, the play action fake by the quarterback was so good that defense didn't even see that he still had the football and he throws it down there for a nice completion. The Packers will go with the pistol on this play. First and ten. The quarterback will hand it off to the right side. Picks up about two. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. The Packers line up in the pistol offense. Second and seven. He's looking to the right here on this throw. And it came up a yard short. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. There's the offense picking up another first down on third down. Boy, they got a good drive going here, Jim. I guess you don't hear that too much on the golf course, do you? The way you hit it everywhere. But this offense, they're clicking. They're making plays. Let's see if they can take advantage of, of just moving this football down to field. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Flynn surveying the field from the shotgun, looking for a receiver on the left side here. And he's got the first down. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can fool him with the run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. Escaping the pressure, and he's going to slide feet first. The long drive continues. Handoff. Trying to find an open to the right. This team likes to throw the football in the end zone once they get inside the red zone. This is a nice changeup. They fool them. Well, they thought they were going to fool them with the run, but it only gets a short game. And Starks is going to secure the handoff. This offense can't be stopped on third down no matter the distance. 
Well, when you get down here this close, you got to be tough, big, and strong to get in the end zone. That time, he falls a couple inches short. This will be the offense's 12th play of the drop. Scores the touchdown. I'd say this run by the offense is just, it's arrogance. They just say, you can't stop this. And they lined up and just shoved it down the defense's throat. Nice run there on first and goal for the touchdown. They get set, looking to convert on this two-point try. How much does this sting? They get the touchdown, but Phil, they fail to get the two. Uh, Jim, I think it takes a lot away from the football team. It's a terrible decision. Now we'll find out if that one point comes back to haunt them. The receiving team has the recovery. First down, throwing now to his left. Able to make the tackle about two yards shy of the first. I think the best thing to say about that play, it's just that it gained a few yards, so that's what you do. All plays don't score. Sometimes you just want to pick up a couple yards. Palmer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Deep to Larry Fitzgerald. Interception. Tackles made. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. Lined up in the pistol formation. Stark's going to take the handoff now. We're through three now in Glendale, Arizona. Back momentarily for the start of the four. The Packers come out in the pistol. We are back for the start of the fourth quarter. The reception, easy, wide open. The Packers in for the score. How about this gift? A wide open receiver down the field. The quarterback, good job of finding him. He throws it down there and he gets the easy touchdown. The Packers for the extra point. Inside of the uprights. The Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals. Fair catch. 7-19! First down, offense readying for the snap. And Williams. He stacked up at that point. Well, when your team is behind, what do you do? You just come out there and get a first down. That's a nice job by the offense. Here they come, back to the line after picking up over 20 yards on that last play. Williams got the cool hands on a pass that had a lot of heat. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. Here's the handoff, running off tackle, runs out of bounds. Well, that was a nice run that time off tackle. And listen, this is a bread and butter play in the NFL. It's about power running. Can your right offensive now. tackle Who's make the block to Who's free up that running back so he has a chance to get that secondary and make a nice run out of it? Now first and ten. Palmer looking down the field, and they can't connect. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Second down and 10, Carson Palmer throws the long pass, and it falls incomplete. I think that's the hardest pass a defensive back has to defend. The long throws down the field. You have to wait to the last second to make your play. That time the defensive back did it. What a play. Zebras. 
Receiver. Following that incompletion, it sets up third and ten. Working that left side, and the catch is made by Larry Fitzgerald. Good job by the defense, staying in the right spots. They give up the short pass, they make the tackle, and now we have fourth down coming up. The defense comes out in the nickel. Wide open for the catch. Anytime you get in the red zone, you want to punch it in there and get seven points. Uh, they're being dominated today. They're down more than seven, but don't worry about it. Score here and just keep playing. Regular, regular. First down, following the long play. Challenging the defender. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. You know, if you're a defensive player and you're covering a receiver down here on first and goal, you don't have to cover that much area. That's a terrible job by the defense giving up that touchdown pass. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. That hurts. The two-point try is denied. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. like the receiving team has recovered. <laughs> Setting up in the pistol on this play. Lynn's going to take it from the gun. Complete. They break through. Tackle them behind the line. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. in the pistol. Matt Flynn is lined up in the shotgun formation. Going across the middle, the pass doesn't find a mark. As much as these guys practice during the offseason, training camp, during the week, you think receivers and quarterbacks would always be on the same page. That time they were not, and it's another incomplete pass. Jones is a wide out, but in the backfield on this play. Now it's a third and 13. Intercepted! Well, I have to say, that's just a terrible decision by the quarterback there. He's got to know when you're in a situation like this, you just cannot make that type of pass. Offense lines up here. First and 10, will go ground. Gets past the first wave and pick up 35. The NFL is about situations. A good job by the runner knowing where the first down was. Gets it there and he moves those chains. Here's the first snap after the big play. Palmer's got it in the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. And in completion right there, but it really should have been an interception. The quarterback realizes time is a factor. They need to put some points on the board. Picks up about eight. When you get down in the red zone, the offensive coordinator's got to call a play. 
that deceived the defense. Let's see if he can do it. His team is down. He needs a big play here. Third and three. They'll run it. Here's the handoff. Good, solid tackle. Short of the first. And now we've got a fourth down situation. Time of this one's running out, and the defense knows it needs another stop. Trying to work that left side. Good piece of tackle. Good play call that time by the offensive coordinator. Down inside, when you're inside that 20-yard line or the red zone, find ways to complete the pass. They did that time. Slash chins it across the goal line for the touchdown. Ah, oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there, and it's first to go, and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. They're lining up here for the onside kick. The flag is out. And they get to him at the 45. Illegal touching. Offense. You try the onside kick, and you've got to make sure, first off, that the ball travels 10 yards. That's a penalty. Hey, you know what you say to the kicker here in this situation? If you're the coach, you count to 10. That's how far it's got to go, son. Get the ball 10 yards. Time becoming a factor in this game. Bringing the play to an end. The off tackle run, it's just what it says it is. You're going to read the tackle's block and decide whether you're going to go inside or outside. Usually, this is the first running play every team puts in their offense when they go to training camp. The Packers will approach this play from out of the pistol. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. When you run off tackle, one of the things you're looking for is for your tackle to make a good block, and then if you have a lead fullback, can he get past him and block the linebacker to free up the halfback so he can go in between them and get in the secondary and make a big play. The Packers in the pistol. First and ten. Coons taking the handoff. Going to be a tackle for a loss. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Come to the line of scrimmage with two timeouts to play with. Second down and 11 as they go ground here. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. So this defense all over that play. They tackle the runner for a loss. Now we're going to have third long advantage goes to the defense. Offense lines up here. Third down at 13. The Packers now move the chains. When we were in practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. Long gain sets them up here on this play. The Packers call a timeout and are left now with only one. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play.
the Packers can go ahead here in the fourth with this field goal. Come out there on the field as a defense. The offense has great field position. You've got to give them something different. The defense did. They stopped them, and 